Okay, so let me think about Moira's strat. So Moira is not a easy hero to play in Bunker and to consistently find value from. So here's how you play Moira in Bunker. One, you hope that your team brawls. Two, you prevent enemy flankers from finding any value. Three, you build up your coalescence as fast as possible. And you get the first hold on board and coalescence their backline and kill their backline. So you probably don't want to be heal orbing much. You want to spam damage orbs so they get a coalescence and win the fight with coalescence. Because that is useful. Healing orb is not useful. You have such low utility, you have to find utility by building your ult fast. Right, exactly off moss. Oh, hey there, bud. Come here, Hanzo. I'm gonna fuck him. Suck. Teleport left of the tower. Right of the tower. Very cool. Okay. Suck. Chat, what are we seeing already? Oh, hey there, bud. Come here, Hanzo. I'm gonna fuck him. Suck. Teleport left of the tower. Right of the tower. Very cool. Let me control him. Right of the... What's the problem? Horrendous. Horrendous resource management. Watch and learn. Full HP! Still getting healed. Still getting healed. Still getting healed. Still getting healed. You see it, chat? Even when they're full HP, like chat said, lingering heals. Just so much waste. And then you don't have to do anything for four seconds. Don't have to do anything for four seconds. Okay, you have half of your real healing resource gone, and we're 16 seconds into the VOD. 16 seconds into the VOD. Not only that, but you use your fade. Why? What would possibly possess you to use your fade here? So unlucky, dude. There is justice in this world. There is justice in this world. Wasted fade, bad healing resource management, and instant death. No, no, no. That's such an inefficient use of your damage orb. Like, remember, the whole point of your damage orb is to win 1v1s or to farm coalescence or to, like, distract or harass squishies. Like, that damage orb is going to get, like, two ticks. You're going to get, like, 30 damage out of it, and it's going to be gone, right? Like, that's such a heavy investment for a cooldown. And especially because you don't have your ultimate yet, you don't really want to be just tossing your damage orbs anywhere all over the place. Like, your primary purpose now is to get your ult. Now, if you already have your ult... I could be more okay with something like that, just being a general a nuisance. Like that's okay. N not now. You you need your ult, please. Whoa. Still, like like you don't need to be puffing this much. I don't know about healing orb there either. And the reason by by the way, the reason you have to use healing or have to use healing orb here is because your resource management is garbage. Garbage. So and this is, and, and guess what? Because you have to use a healing orb, that means that your damage orbs are gonna be, you're not gonna have a damage orb when you turn on this quarter. And it means you're gonna get your ult faster. So bad research management directly leads to slower ult, use, slow, slower ult charge, which is terrible because 
Moira's ult is literally a huge part of her kit. The fact that she gets her ult fast is what makes Moira attractive. And if you're bad at that, then you're bad at Moira. So like right here, you need a damage orb here. You need a damage orb here, right? Because that's gonna give you what? 11% of your ult? Something like that? Yeah, you get like eight, nine percent. Like eight percent and then whatever passive, whatever. Cap. Like just even like just just like to a lesser extent, like this right here. This spray. It's too long. I don't even think it reaches the Symmetra from where you're at. I'm, I'm, it might barely reach her. But like, it's even if it did, too much. Too much. You are permanently low resource because of this. That damage orb is good. Okay, damage orb again. Damage orb again. Nice. Okay. Your duel, you two, two duel with Overwatch. Right. So if the orb is moving one direction and they are moving the same direction, then yes, throwing it straight is great because it doesn't bounce, right? But if I'm at directly with somebody and I'm not expecting them to run away directly in line with the orb, like this bot, what I'm gonna do is, I'll do it with this bot right here, is I'm actually gonna throw it right at their feet because it bounces and it comes up again. If this is the floor, right? And this is the target right here that I'm trying to fight. And I'm the yellow Moira, okay? I don't wanna throw my damage orb from here to here because the longest path to get from there, from here to here is the path that's furthest away from where I release the orb. You see that? Do we see how line one is longer than line two? Yeah? So, so if I'm trying to launch a damage orb, I don't want to launch line two unless I want bounce factor. Because if, it, if, there, if, bounce, if there's like a wall here, right? I must do a black thing, but that wouldn't make sense. If there's a wall here, I can come bounce and bounce back and it will do it again. So that would be optimal in that circumstance. Emily Mabin. Thank you, Cody. Thank you very much. But if I'm not expecting it to, the longest path is to shoot it at their feet because that is, if I were to move this arrow up, it would end up about here, right? And that extra distance is going to mean the orb is there for that much longer. And in addition, it's also as it leaves it. So it bounces the floor and it does this. So if the damage orb is gonna start sucking from me here to here, if I throw it straight, it would start sucking from here to here, right? Depending on the rank. So this section from here to here, then from there to there, let's call it 3.5. And this section from here to here is two, right? The angle one lasts longer. Yes? Does anyone, does any of this make sense? So when you're in a duel, if you do, for the longest path to that target, you throw it at their feet and then it bounces up and it keeps sucking them until it gets out of range. The only time you throw it at level ground is when you want bounce factor. Like right now, you throw it at his head. Now he's dead either way, so it doesn't really matter, but just wanna make sure that everybody understands that concept. Now there are lots of times where bounce factor is important, but... What is this kid saying? Good. Don't need to be close. Good. Uh, hello? You, wa you walked into it. Like, you were here, and then you actually moved into it. For those of you who don't know, Dragon Strike, last I checked, does more damage in the epicenter. So it's like, Dragon Strike is kind of like this, right? Where, like, the, the, the closer to the middle you are, the more damage you take. 
So you you walked into it and took more damage. You just you just sat there. You you died to it. So yikes! Bad resource management. Bad orbs. Slow to farm coal. Waste of like this is an atrocious orb. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me why this orb is atrocious, chat. No fight yet. Okay. So what should he have done instead? Yes. Yep. Complete. Like this orb is going to go and it's going to just disappear. Completely wasted. Build your ult. And I know there's an argument if you're min-maxing of like, oh, well, I don't want to build my ult because my ult is not that useful compared to other ults. But remember that, like, like, you, what if they already have Coalescence and Nano? You're not feeding support ults then if you're throwing damage orbs. It doesn't matter. And also keep in mind that you are responsible for your ultimate. So don't ignore the enemy ult. You are responsible for your ult. So if you're going your this Moira versus your Moira, your, your Coalescence is going to be better, right? Like, that's the whole point of climbing and improving. You're taking responsibility for me. You are going to time your ultimate perfectly. And then lastly, also understand that the people you damage might not always be healed. So it's free ult charge. X370. X, X3Z0. Thank you for the fall. X, x 3 x Lastly, so they might have health packs. They might just not get healed at all. And lastly, also understand that the whole tier of ults in Overwatch doesn't apply as much at lower ranks. It doesn't apply as much at low ranks. So, Coalescence is not a great ult at the higher ranks. Speed 3x, thanks for the follow. What is with the hard? I can't predict. Okay. Speed 3xx, thanks for the follow. Um, so, like, something like a gra like, like, like a Coalescence, which isn't great at the higher ranks, unless it's like in the Goat's Bunker, um, is useful in comp. Anyway, just just spam damage. Work. Get your ult. When you don't have ult, get ult. Is Nano Coalescence a thing? Um, yeah, but it's not great because Coalescence doesn't do a lot of damage. The reason Coalescence is useful is because of the healing and the fact that it tickles backline, right? It's really obnoxious to backline. So Nanoing it, it's it's obviously more dangerous, but it's not as useful because also you don't get as much of the survivability out of it either. So you want to get the 50% damage reduction value too, right? So you Nano your Reaper and he's more survivable. It doesn't really matter with Coalescence. Damage orb is fine. I don't like the angle with which you threw it. I would have preferred a more straight angle because bounce factor is 100% a thing in this room. Damage orb that. I don't know why you faded that. It's a waste of a fade. Slow in the heals. This right here, you need to puff, then right click. You're too slow in the puff here. You're so slow in the puff. So slow in the puff. Get that HOT started, and then you can go damage. Right? Get the HOT started, and then you can damage. Now go back to damage. So, like, it's like this is a perfect example of why you're Masters and not GM. You were slow to puff this. And he dies. But then you puff this for an unearthly amount of time and resource. Right? Like, how much resource did you actually use in that Sombra? Right here. All right, we're actually going to make it really accurate. You started healing her right here, approximately. And you stop at here. That's like a quarter of your resource that you just threw on a Sombra. That only needed like 100 healing. Yeah, he could, have, he, did, he could have just had the mercy top them off. Exactly. You didn't need to, to, to devote a resource that could have handed you 8 or 9% ult charge on chip healing, on a tank. Terrible, terrible efficiency. And like, again, you are just milking your resource dry. Again, why are you fading that? Okay, you're fading into a coalescence, whatever then. Because that's not exactly bad. Orbing into a coalescencing, fading into a coalescence... 
If it if it has any value at all, it's fine. Because by the time the coalescence is done, you'll have fate again. And obviously you're locked into it. The only exception to that rule, I would say, is that the enemy team has noticeable CC. And the reason is, is for example, if you fade needlessly into a coalescence and the Roadhog flanks and he hooks you, he cancels coalescence and you don't have fade. I want you to think about that. See what? Okay, we'll watch a bit more. No, it's just masters. This person is... I feels more like high diamond or and I would say that yeah so low masters so this might have been at the end of a win streak this person is not plat or gold by any means um but there's definitely lots to work on little damage orb sure get your ult first and there you go 10 HP and, and like, like hey look you actually secured a kill with it too like that's another reason why you use damage orb you might it will, you, you will occasionally secure kills that otherwise would not have happened like theoretically this kill would not have happened without your damage orb right it's the same kind of concept of mercy damage boost you will occasionally get kills with mercy damage boost a couple per game that wouldn't have otherwise happened which is why it's so important it's not just oh a little bit extra damage it's the little bit extra damage that might get a few extra kills so well done I don't like your positioning now um like i i would prefer you to play behind your tanks to start before you find out what they've got so right now you're not able to press tab yet so if they have a widowmaker and i hear a hanzo i'm pretty sure they could headshot you and you die right so play cautiously and then if you want to if they're running like a junk rat like a um like a may or something like that and you want to play here and you want to kind of like off angle and get good damage orb spam and right click people that try and flank here. That's fine. I can understand that being useful, but not right now. Not until you know what they have. Damage orb this, damage orb this, damage orb this. I don't know why you faded that. Was there Hanzo? Did the Hanzo have a sightline on you? Okay, so I would have faded if I saw Hanzo shooting at me, but you faded before the Hanzo even peaked. You, you faded a Genji and a Reinhardt. Not a good fade. And then you actually faded back out into the sight line from where the Hanzo actually took a shot. So, crap. Garbage. Dumpster. Terrible. Embarrassing. It's way too much healing resource again. Just puff. And no more than once every four seconds in chip situations. The only time you mash healing resource is when people are taking a lot of damage in the middle of the brawl. He could have seen an arrow, yes, but again, if that's the case, then why did he fade into the exact same sight lane from which he ran away from? He ended up in the open, again. And Hanzo could have easily inducted another arrow and shot it at that point. Fade there is fine. Way too much healing resource. Like, again... You're clearly not concerned here. You're playing aggressive, so that fader layer was just bad. I would have preferred you to damage orb out to that, so I would have preferred... Now, you might have panicked here, which was understandable. Okay, you, never mind. Your orb came off of cooldown as you faded. Never mind. Obviously, I would have preferred an orb into a fade, but I think you didn't want to wait that long, which is understandable. Too much healing resource. Puff, leave it. Puff, leave it. You're at half resource, and there's no, like, there's no reason for that. That was better. That was like, shh, and then off. That was better. But like, look at what's happened. You're a third resource now. Your hog is almost full HP, has a mercy beam on him, and still has vape, and how much of your resource are you using on him? A quarter? Another quarter? For, so you're not even reaching him. You're hitting your tank... And then, whoosh, just it's just not good, man. Like I'm, I'm harping on the same points again and again, but this is because the points keep showing up. That was a good orb into a fade, and you're out of you're, you're out of resource. You've been nothing but using a mass amount of your resource to heal chip damage, and now you're out. Like, I could even understand more of this kind of healing if there was a Zen. It'd still be bad resource management, but it would make a little more sense. But you have a Mercy, right? Another main healer who, granted, does want to damage boost as much as she can. But you could puff, and it will heal everybody up. You just have to wait a second. Their tanks are bad. 
Too much. These are full HP targets, you idiot. You 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 finish your core lessons at a quarter resource, and you use your last little bit of resource on full HP targets. Behind the shield. When will you learn? Apparently never. Huh, and here it comes. Here it comes. You know what's coming, chat? It's the healing ore because I have no more healing resource. That's what's coming. That's where here it comes. And guess what? You were almost in serious trouble there because you didn't have any healing resource when you needed it. Just because you feel like you don't need it, just feel because you're like, oh, well, I don't really need. It. No, there are going to be circumstances in which you might need it. You need to be right clicking stuff there. Oh, bless. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this malinvestment? Thank you, Sayuri3. I appreciate that. Look at you, and, and you're not even right clicking from behind cover or like here or, or like a shield. You're, you're over here now So I assume you're gonna fade across the other side 10,000 IQ More puffs more puffs. We have literally no resource and we still puffing gents. We're still puffing Oh no Oh goodness All right, all right more justice at the hands of the Hunzo and luck unlucky deaths. Okay. Um, your resource management is atrocious. You need to practice significant more restraint with how much left click you're using in situations when your team doesn't need healing at all, because that happened a lot, and then how much they need in chip healing situations. Puff leave. Three, four, two, one. Puff leave. And guess what? If you do it at that tempo, you won't need to right click at all because you're naturally going to regen what you puffed every four seconds right and then in situations and brawls where you have to mash the left click down you'll be able to charge it up afterwards so terrible resource management which was forcing you into situations where you had to use healing orbs although honestly that wasn't really the case either so i don't know, honestly i don't really have a lot more than that yeah there's some misuses of fade um there was a couple wasted orbs. There was definitely some healing orbs, but most of that was just because you would run out of juice. And that was because of your resource management. So resource management, that's all I got, man. You got a lot to work on with your resource management. It's gonna take some trial and error for you to find, figure out which situations are chip and which situations are serious where you need to match left click, but you ain't gonna learn until you actually start practicing, so.